today I've got a $250 House of 1000 Pops Funko Pop Mystery Box. So House of 1000 Pops, the uh, website, YouTube, and Instagram account is all run by Jazzy. Everybody knows Jazzy in like the Funko community. So make sure you check her out, houseof1000pops.com. Her Instagram is at houseof1000pops. I'll make sure you drop things down below to all of her stuff. Make sure you check her out. From time to time, she sells mystery boxes. And once in a while, she does curated mystery boxes. So she'll do several price points, like a $100 box, $250, $500, maybe $1,000. I don't know if she ever got that high. But this was actually purchased uh, maybe a month or two ago. Curated boxes. So which means that there wasn't like a top hit available. It was... I give you 250 bucks and I trust you to give me good value back. Will it be 250? Pretty much, it, it, it's guaranteed value. But she could give you 300, 350. It's just kind of like a mystery factor where you give the person money, you trust them to give you back decent value. Of course, she can't give back like $500, you know, double your money back. It's not how it works. But uh, yeah, this was 250 bucks. That's the one I chose. So make sure you follow her because she does do curated boxes where you kind of tell her things you like. I think I told her for pops like horror. I told her, I think, uh, horror, wrestling. Maybe those two. I really don't remember. I might have told her stuff like, you know, certain movies, certain franchises. You know, I really, I don't remember. <laughs> I bought it like six weeks ago. But before we do this, though, we got to do a warm up box. What I have here is a box from a company, Tough Collectibles, that I purchased back in May. I bought it, or it shipped May 9th. So I've had this thing for almost a couple months. No, getting close to a couple months. But I think it was like 15 or 20 bucks for a mystery box. So um, I bought a few of them and I grabbed one just to test this out to see what is available in this box. It actually has decent weight to it, so I'm guessing it's at least like in a pop protector. But with Tough Collectibles, this is the first time I've ever bought from them. So I don't really know much about them, so I can't like put my stamp of approval on them or anything. I just bought some cheapy like appetizer mystery boxes. Here we go. So yeah, I think this is like 15 or 20 bucks. I think it was shipped. It wasn't very expensive. I know quite a few YouTubers that have done boxes from Tough Collectibles. They seem legit, but I don't have any first-hand experience to say go buy from them. So I'm not like stamping my endorsement on them or anything at this time because I don't I've never bought from them, okay? Just want to throw that out. Here we go. What did I get? So on the top of the business card, a gold membership card. I don't know, is that good? I don't even know what that is. Here we go. It is in a pop protector. I'll show you first. Lord of the Rings, a Twilight Ring Wraith. It says it's worth 50? That sound right? I've never seen this one. Let me actually, it has the uh, Hot Topic sticker on so I can't actually look it up. A little bit better to look at, at it too. Everybody at home is kind of, they're like, I can't see the pop because of the, uh, the film on it. It's okay. Take the film, take the film off so you can see it. Let me look this thing up. Okay, I'm looking at the WhatNot app. Looking up, you can scan the barcode, but I can't scan so I had to do like a manual search. It's saying PPG of 39 bucks. So I guess it's not bad. I know I didn't pay 39 bucks for this box. I think I got it maybe 15 or 20. So that's actually possible like a double up right there for this odd looking Funko Pop of the Twilight Ring Wraith. So here we go, $250 box. Of course, there is no like sheet to look at that says you're guaranteed so many pops. There, I think there, there might've been something, let's say between two and six pops because this size box is actually pretty decent size box i'm guessing there's at least four pops in here i spent 250 that was actually 250 shipped and I, let's see what i get i have no clue what's going to be in here i can't give any kind of you know it's possible there could be at least you know one thing in the hard stack i have no idea i bought her mystery boxes before in the past uh, when there's actually like a mystery box run with like top hits and everything but this is my first ever House of a Thousand Pops Jazzy curated mystery box. So I'm, I'm intrigued. What is in here? What is in here? I don't want to peek. I just kind of want to feel around. 
see how many that I feel. We have a note on top, it looks like. It says, read me. It says, Clint. First, thank you so much as always for your support. I am so sorry this took so long. Your patience would generally appreciate it, but it's a curated box, so it's going to take time to create, you know, a valuable, or a box with value. A few things about this box. Originally, your main item was going to be a pop until it got crushed to smithereens with a few others, so I compromised got something I think you'll like just as much for the same resale value if you decide to do so. I don't think you will, though. However, considering you put in that you wanted a pop, I also wanted to send you one of those as well. Please don't laugh or do at my attempt to cover then like censored word so it didn't come off. I hope all success and everything arrives safely. You're awesome. Thank you again for all you do. So it looks like I remember she reached out to me. She got me this kind of grail pop and, and shipping and got destroyed. So she had to go back and, you know, that's a curated box. They're specially made. It's, you just got to be patient. So let me lift off the bubble wrap. Let me feel around a little bit. No peeking. Okay, I feel, okay, there is a pop in a, in a Sunbox Pop, Pop Shield, Pop Armor. And then, okay, here's something on top. It says COA. I obviously don't want to look at the COA. I hope you really get a kick out of this. I didn't have time to get this sent out, so I used my second best option, or just as good, according to you. If you flip this card, you'll find a conversation you and I, you and I had a while back. Hope this is just as good for you. This came from Undiscovered Realm, who I trust personally. Let me actually just keep the COA to the side before I actually read, because it actually might like tell me like whatever is in here that's autographed. Okay, pulling out bubbles and bubbles and bubbles. I think I feel an action figure that. Let me be careful. I don't want to damage anything. There's a lot of bubbles. Actually, let me just go ahead and let me just pull out this pop first. It's on top. It's actually like holding down the other stuff. I'll show you first. And we've got Kurt Angle Autograph Funko Pop. This is from the Seven Bucks Pop Pop Shield. Or not Seven Bucks Pop Shield. Seven Bucks a Pop drop that they did a few months ago, actually. I've actually met Kurt, Kurt Angle in person twice now. Super nice guy. Extremely nice man. And yeah, this is actually a nice pop. This is actually this pop has gone up in value quite a bit over the last like few months. I think it's actually booking out at a pretty decent value now. But yeah, I appreciate it. Another Kurt Angle to add to my autograph collection. So this will be like my third Kurt Angle signed pop. Or I actually had uh, one signed in person back uh, a few years ago. Then actually I, I had the same pop from uh, the seven bucks a pop drop that, that they did, the exact same one. Then I have a signed picture when I first met him like 11, 12 years ago. But yeah, super cool. First one. Let's see what else we have in here. I'm just going to have to look in. Oh, no. 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 Yes. Okay, I'm extremely freaking happy. Yes, I am extremely freaking happy right now. I am ecstatic. I am ecstatic. Okay, if anybody knows me, I've been pestering um, Jazzy and Pop King Paul to sell me their Captain Spaulding signed Fungal Pop by Sid Haig. Sid Haig is one person that I actually held back a Fungal Pop to be autographed by him. I was supposed to meet him. And uh, he had to cancel his appearance because his health was getting bad. And then he tragically, he passed away before I got a chance to meet him. And it honestly, it broke my heart that I never got to meet Sid Haig. If I put on the clown paint, I look like Captain Spaulding. Straight up, I look like Captain Spaulding. And she actually hooked me up with a Sid Haig autographed House of a Thousand Corpses NECA figurine Captain Spaulding. That is awesome. I am very happy that she had this wrapped around the figure, just like a uh, little stack to keep it being damaged. Let me check out the COA. Okay, so she told me that she got this from Undiscovered Realm. Oh yeah, I actually, 
Undiscovered Realm, I know they are a legit store. And um, Sid Haig, this, to me, my first opinion, that looks like Sid Haig's autograph. His autograph was kind of strange. It was, it was kind of odd autograph. There was a few months back, Jazzy was actually doing an auction. And there was a William Zabka figure, or a signed pop that she had, that... I questioned the authenticity of it, so I told her to reach out to JR to see what he thought about it, just because JR, who owns Zobie Productions, shopzobie.com, he's handled thousands and thousands of autographs in his time, probably 100,000 autographs in his time. He does private signings all around the country every day with him and his, his team of employees. And so she just kind of took a screenshot of our conversation that we had that uh, I trust JR's opinion. If JR, he's just as legit as like a JSA in my in in my personal opinion. JR knows his stuff. And then she posted the conversation between her and JR. Undiscovered Realm said it was legit, and she actually had JR look at this. And uh, JR even said, it "says it looks like a signature to me. He's always had an odd signature, and this one looks consistent with his other." So. JR even put a stamp of approval on this that this is authentic. So I trust JR as much as I trust like JSA and Beckett. His stamp of approval is just as good. And yeah, this is never leaving my collection. I finally have a Captain Spaulding signed, like a nice figurine signed by Sid Haig. That's awesome. So Jazzy, I appreciate it. This was better than any Funko Pop mystery box you could have done for me. I'll keep my out for her next curated box and I will be buying one. Again, because this was worth every dime of $250.